Alrighty, you know, when we're learning to read music, there's a couple of things we have to first know. One of them is to make sure that we understand what the treble clef is. The treble clef is this curvy little thing that lets us know what the names of the lines and spaces are. Right there, we have this note called G that is on this line. Make sure that you're talking about the head of the note being on this line. We're going to call that G. Why? Why not? Um, here are some other notes of the treble clef, and you can stop the video and study those. That's the G that we were talking about. You see the head of the note is right through the, a, the, the G line, and the next note up is A, uh, as, as the alphabet only goes G through A, and there's the B on the third line. Let's go back to the G. On the f second line, now we're going to see the fingering for a saxophone for that note. It's right here, the first three uh, keys, and there's our A, and here's the fingering for A, and now here is the next note, B, and, and you'll see pretty soon the fingering for B is the first um, fingering. There you go. And um, it, this is important because later on you can make some sense of all of this. You can't make sense of all of this until you understand what we just did. If you have to stop the video to go back and check out the fingerings, you can do that or you can comment and I'll be happy to um, be a little bit more explicit. This video is really very quick. So make sure that you learn the names of the lines and spaces first and attach it to the fingerings before you go on in your playing. Do not try to skip steps. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, please keep playing.